Good morning, Axon City. I'm Ashley. And I'm Chloe. And you're watching Max Heart Minute. Where are we today, Chloe? We're at a train station, Ashley. How do you not know that? This is like our 200th show. You, you know the formula by now. Don't mess with it. I was just trying to be funny. Today we're at Lee Caster Transportation. They're the transportation authority here in Axon City. And unless you want to deal with terrible traffic, they're the only way to, to escape. That's right, Ash. Trains are by far the most efficient way to get around these days. Especially if you want to head to one of the three surrounding holiday parks. Splashdown Mountain is by far the best. Oh yeah, no argument there. Although I don't think the train line is open just yet. I think it's undergoing renovations. That's probably why they're holding a sale then. You said it, Ash. For today only, all train tickets at the Caster Transportation are half price. Those are some massive savings. They sure are, Chloe. So what are all you folks at home waiting for? Head on down to Axon Terminal and get the fuck out of town for cheap. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, see you then. Ahoy, Bree. How be ye on this fine day, me hearty? Ahoy, what's up with the stereotypical pirate lingro lingo? You don't talk like that. Lori said that's how pirates speak in these parts. I'm trying to familiarize myself with your culture, so it's only appropriate I speak like a pirate. Pirates spoke like this hundreds of years ago, Dem. No one speaks like that anymore. It's super old-fashioned. What? But it just rolls off the tongue. It fills me with joy to speak such words. Dem, you're a weird one. Say, would you know a place where I could learn more about the pirates of your dimension? I'm really enjoying adding all of these new words to my vocabulary. There's dozens of books on pirates at the library. I can take you there if you'd like. That sounds fantastic, Bree. Let's set sail at once. I was just planning on taking the train. <laughs> I miss being able to sail everywhere. Whoa, look at the size of this place. This isn't even that big of a library, mate. Your world truly is magnificent. I am constantly in complete and utter awe. Like that magical contraption outside that dispenses cold veld beverages. You've seen vending machines before, Dem. We stopped at three different ones on the way over here. They all had different things in them, though. So all these books are about pirates? There's so many, Brie. I don't know where to start. Oh no, most of the books here are fiction. Romance novels and stuff like that. There's a little history section over there, there though. That's where the pirate books are. This one's probably a good start. It's a history of naval trading from the 14th century onwards. They dealt with pirates a lot back then. Ah. There are many words on these pages, Brie. I do not want to read this. <laughs> I feel. You can probably find something a bit simpler for you, then. Maybe a high school textbook? Oh, a children's guide to pirate lingo. That's the perfect book for me. I'm not really sure that's what you're after, Dem. Look at all these words. Land lover. <laughs> Avast. I love the sound of all these phrases. Oh, and this one. Keel Hall. I'm guessing that has something to do with the keel of the ship. That sounds especially fancy. Keel hauling is the act of punishing an individual by attaching a rope to them, dragging them underneath the ship across the length or width of the keel. This form of torture was frequently performed by pirates throughout the 14th and 1500s. What? This is the most fucked up thing I've ever read. There's barnacles and all sorts of things under the ship. I couldn't imagine a slower and more painful way to die. And what's all this about raping and pillaging? Yeah, pirates weren't exactly the nicest people around back then, or even nowadays for that matter. All I've done is steal a few ships. I've certainly never thrown people overboard or set fire to a village or raped a dozen of women. Your world's pirates are disgusting. There's been some atrocities in my dimension, but clearly I under underestimated how bloodthirsty your people really could be, Bree. I assumed you were a peaceful folk, but it appears I was misguided. Away with this drivel, I am no longer interested in reading of the foul misdeeds of your ancestors. 
Want to just go get a coffee from the library cafe then? No, I want one from a vending machine. <laughs> you don't want to drink a coffee from a vending machine. Take my word for it. So, Demetrius, how'd you get your ship in the first place? Is it like a birthright where you're from, or did you steal it from someone else? Or maybe Jean built it? She seems handy. Ha, huh, as if a single person could build a ship as mighty as mine. No, Jean did not build it. My vessel is actually one of the most sturdy ships ever built by the Galtician Defense Force. I've made some alterations to it since then, but it's still heavily based on their original design. Galtician? What's that? Galtus is one of the largest ruling nations in the realm. There's over 20,000 citizens living on the Isles of Galtus, and it's where I was born and raised. I always dreamed of spending my days defending the Isles from invaders, and as soon as I was old enough, I enlisted in the Defense Force. I was even promoted to captain after a few years of hard work. Of course, fate is a cruel mistress, and that wasn't the path that was laid out for me. What happened? My immediate superior in the forest was an imbecile, and when the Chirapin armies tr tried to reclaim one of our southern territories, I was dispatched with over a dozen other fleets to deal with the threat. It turned out to be an ambush, and the Cherupin bastards began decimating our fleet. We were ordered to stand our ground and fight, but it was a lost mission. Our generals had ordered us to t die. Rather than face an early demise at sea, I fled the scene of the battle and I escaped with my own life and the lives of my crew but I was immediately branded a traitor for betraying direct orders. If I ever set foot on the Isles of Galtus again, I'll be sentenced to death. Oh, that's not so bad. I'd probably have done the same thing in your situation. There's no point in dying for no reason. Better to run off and live to fight another day. Unfortunately, it's not that simple in my world. Now I roam the seas as an outcast, doing what it takes to survive. So you're a proper pirate then? You steal stuff from other ships and then set the fire to them? Of course I do, except I don't set fire to them. Just because I'm a traitor doesn't mean I don't plan to be rich someday. We all have our own paths in life. Mine is just so happens to be that of a fearsome pirate. I've never keel-hauled anyone though. I'm not a monster. Good to know. Hey, Dem. Hello, my darling Bree. What are you up to today? Not much. I figured I'd see if you want to hang out. One of the girls mentioned I need to try eating a pizza before I leave this dimension. I was thinking of heading out and sampling a taste right now if you'd like to accompany me. You've never eaten a pizza before? They don't have pizzas from where you came from? Nope. Well, I'm in no rush to vis visit the Isles of Galtus. If they don't have pizza, then there's no point in visiting. That and they'd murder you the second you step foot on Galtician soil for colluding with a known renegade. Not exactly an ideal holiday destination. Welcome to Jake's Clay Oven Pizza. What can I get you to? My friend here hasn't ever eaten a pizza before. What topping would you recommend? What, does he live under a fucking rock? How has he never eaten a pizza before? He's a pirate from a parallel dimension. They don't have pizza over there. Uh-huh. A customer is a customer, but I'm getting real sick of these crazies. Listen, if your friend's never had pizza, then he's got to get start with Hawaiian. It's a classic, it's cheap, and it ticks all the fucking boxes. That's what I'd go for. Ooh, good pick. I wasn't sure whether to get that one or meat lovers. Wait, you're not one of them scums who don't like pineapple on pizza, are you? No, I love pineapple. I always eat it with pizza. Anchovies are good, too. Good, I was worried I'd have to throw you out of here for a second. We don't serve pineapple haters here. <laughs> Your pizza won't be long. Thanks. I mean, pineapple on pizza is alright. I don't hate it, nor like it. It's, it's just I. Right. I must, I must say I am quite enthralled by all of this. It smells amazing in here. I might be wrong, but I think you're going to love th this. Them. Pizza is pretty benign, and I don't think I know anyone who doesn't like it. 
It's just a great food, even when it has tentacles on it. Oh, I was gonna ask you, what's your stance on this whole Queen Priscilla thing? God damn. Well, <laughs> continuing on. <laughs> I've been fending myself for long enough to know when it's best to stay well out of it. Priscilla is way more trouble than she's worth. I don't think she even knows I exist, and I'd like to. I'd like it to stay that way. Most likely she tried to kill me if she laid eyes on me, but that's just because she's a psychotic warlord who kills people all the time because she's insane. I got no idea why the other tribes are allied with her. Probably to, to prevent their demise. No, I mostly keep to myself at sea. The less people that know about me, the better. That's how you stay alive out on the ocean. Keeping as low profile as possible. I thought you were known by all seafaring folk as Demetrius, the Dread Pirate. Well, some people know who I am, but they also know I keep a low profile. Uh-huh, so, um, does sailing out there on the ocean by yourself ever get boring? Well, I do have Jean to talk to, but it's mostly solitary life. Such is the life of a Dread Pirate. I don't think I'd make a very good pirate. I'd get distracted too easily to spend <laughs> hours watching the horizon for enemy vessels. And last year I went on a cruise and got super seasick. I'm clearly a land animal. Nonsense, you'd make a great pirate. Next time I decide to raid a fleet vessel, I'll bring you with me. It's an absolute blast. You'll have a great time, Brie. Only if you let me fire a cannon. I've always wanted to do that. So as long as you don't mind firing it onto a deck full of screaming fleet soldiers. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'll make sure to take plenty of drugs beforehand so I don't throw up any everywhere. Pizza's ready. Whoa. Don't worry about cutlery, Dem. You can just eat this with your hands. Some people eat pizza with a knife and fork, but they're wrong. Those people should be imprisoned. I mean, I eat pizza with a fork and knife only when I like eat leftover and I, it's like it's really hot. This is amazing. It's the perfect combination of bread, cheese, and random hunks of meat. I love this brie. Storekeep, I'd like three more of these to take home with me. No worries, mate. I'll cook them up for you right now. This food is too fantastic to, to taste only once. I'm having some of this for breakfast tomorrow morning, and I'll definitely come back to the store a few times before I depart for my realm. If you put the leftover pizza on a plate and wrap it with plastic, then it should keep for a day or two in the fridge. Just make sure you heat it up on the stove instead of the microwave. It tastes weird when you if you do it that way. Duly noted, my dear. You can also eat pizza cold, by the way. Some people like it more that way, but I'm a fresh pizza girl. Nothing beats hot pizza in my book. So how many different varieties of this pizza are there in your world? Endless possibilities. Dozens. Wait until you try jalapeno pizza. It's a real eye-opener. I like the sound of that. Order extra chilies and ghost peppers and call me before you start eating so I can record your reaction. I will. That sounds fantastic. I'm gonna make so much money in ad revenue. <laughs> oh hey Brie, it's me Victoria. I can recognize you Victoria. Just because you have fox ears and a tail doesn't mean I won't recognize you. Hey, why do you have three tails? Lori's teaching me how to multi-class. I'm not actually a fox girl, I'm a kitsune. They're a type of fox-based magic user, and the higher level you are, the more tails you have. Being a witch is fun and all, but it doesn't hurt to have more than one school of magic to fall back on in a crisis. It'll be a while until I can use this form in combat, though. Oh, so that's why Lori has three tails too. I thought she was just showing off because she owned the place. So what sorts of power do Kitsune have? They have some healing magic, and at higher levels I'll be able to possess people, but their shape-shifting is by far their coolest power. <laughs> Bretoria. <laughs> Check this out. Holy crap, you look just like me. I can even copy your voice, too. Pretty spooky, right? It is creeping me out a little bit. I can only maintain other people's forms for a few minutes right now, but the more time I spend as a kitsune, the e easier it'll be to control my powers. That's why I got a job working here. Kitsunes hang out at shrines after all. I'm pretty sure this doesn't count as an actual shrine, Victoria. It's just a coffee shop. 
I'm still passively getting experience by being here, so I'm not arguing with it. Apparently it still counts. Alright, I'm gonna get to work. If you need any help with anything, just let me know. You got it, Bree. Thanks. Bree, you got a second? Yeah, what's up? I wanted to say congratulations. I thought taking you on board was a mistake and I had my doubts, but you have been kicking butt, butt these past few ships. Ships. Shifts. <laughs> Not only have you paid off your govern link debt in full, you also earned yourself a bonus. Yo! Here, take it. You deserve it. Aw, thanks, Riley. Don't spend it all in one place. I will do that. Uh, I won't. Bye. I still don't get why your ears are pink. Uh, Riley, wh who are you just talking to? You? Didn't you just go outside? Wait a minute. <laughs> God damn it, man! Boy, Victoria. <laughs> what the fuck do you think you're doing? Stop hitting my face, it was just a prank. Give me my money back. <laughs> I was going to, but I had to do it. The only way to level up as a kitsune is to play tricks on people. That's their whole thing. Please shift back to normal. This is freaking me out. Sorry, here's your money back. If you pull any more kitsune crap on me, I'll be pissed. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Brie. Good, now shift into Lori and convince Riley that she should give everyone a pay raise. Ooh, I like that idea. <laughs> hey, Demetrius. Don't use that bubbly tone with me, Bree. You might look like an innocent lass, but on the inside is a cruel and manipulous wench who tricked me into eating a super spicy pizza. You were supposed to call me before you ate that. Everyone at the pizza parlor got their phone out and recorded me eating. I thought they wanted to savor being in the presence of a rogue pirate, but they just wanted to laugh at me choking on ghost peppers. They all told me to drink milk to numb the pain, but it made no difference. It still sung like a never-ending wildfire for hours after agonizing hour. Non-stop painful torment for Demetrius. The milk did nothing. Nothing, I say. I take back my offer of letting you fire a cannon. No cannons for you. In fact, you're banned from setting foot on my ship, at least for the time being. Oh, I was really looking forward to that. Sorry for tricking you into eating that pizza. I thought it would be funny, but now you're describing it- now that you're describing it to me, I feel really guilty. I shouldn't have done that to you. You don't feel remorse, you're just disappointed you didn't get to fire a cannon. I've got half a mind to take away that heartbeat point you earned for me the other day. You can go right back to rank one with me. No, anything but that. I can make it up to you, I promise. We'll hop to it then, I'm waiting. I know just the thing. Here we are. You are aware I live in a pirate ship, aren't you? Taking me to the ocean isn't exactly going to make up for the heinous act you subjected me to. See those red and white vehicles over there? They're called jet skis and they're surprisingly cheap to rent. You may sail the ocean in a big ass pirate ship, but jet skis are an entirely new experience. So what, they're like cars but for water? What's so great about that? My ship does the exact same thing. You'll see what I mean when, I, when we get on one. Whoa, girl, easy there. You almost drove right into me. They're kind of hard to get the hang of, aren't they? Not at all. This is second nature to a man such as myself, and let me tell you, these jet skis are truly magnificent. Feel that raw power. Feel the hum of the engine. On board of this craft, I tr feel truly unstoppable. So does this make up for my spicy pizza prank? It certainly does. Without you, I never would have had such a magnificent experience. How much do jet skis cost, Bree? I'd like to buy one. Uh, a few thousand dollars, I think? They're not cheap. I don't think Jean would let me spend that much pirate booty on a recreational watercraft. Although, maybe I could pitch it as an investment in some sort of landing craft. It'd certainly get us to shore quicker than that stupid old canoe we got, and we wouldn't have to paddle. It's probably a lot louder. Gotta have to think about that. I think that's going to take a lot of convincing them. I'll race you to that buoy in the distance, Bree. Three, two, one, go! Wait up, I still don't know how to make this thing turn properly. <laughs> Woohoo! Having fun? Damn right I am. 
Bree, how much time left do we have remaining on the rental? Like five minutes or so? We should probably head back or they'll charge us a late fee. Then now is the perfect time for my grand finale. I'm going to drive up that ramp and perform a magnificent flip. Don't break your... everything. You're not going to be able to do a flip. That's practically impossible with a jet ski. Especially if you're a beginner. You'll die. Nonsense. It's time I showed you the true skills of a renegade pirate. I can tame any watercraft. This jump is nothing. Demetrius! No! Stay with me. Don't you die on me yet. <sighs> well, Oh my god. He's going to be coughing for a while. There was a lot of water in his lungs. Ew, there's so much mucus. Yeah, he swallowed a gutful. You feeling alright now, mate? Mm, well, what happened? You knocked yourself unconscious after you crashed your jet ski. You're lucky I was keeping an eye on the surf, otherwise you'd- <laughs> you'd carked it. Next time you go jet skiing, wear a life jacket. Close calls like this don't happen very often. Oh, whoops, I completely forgot about life jackets. Hey, hey Bree. Yeah, Dem? Did my flip look cool? It was cool for about two seconds, then it was terrifying and I thought you were dead. We should do this again. No, we should not. Alright, creepy monster-filled swamps, here I come. Uh, you okay, Bree? Yep, just stepped in enormous muddle mud puddle. Fantastic. Well, that's your own fault for not floating over it. Just fly like us. Damn. I wish I could do that. I'm pretty sure Bree can't fly, Max. You two can fly? What? Can you not? Most people can't fly, Max. That's not a normal thing. That's not a thing normal people can do. Clearly you're not trying hard enough. <laughs> oh man, my shoes are completely ruined. See, Lori, what kind of sexy monster girls can we expect to see here? I'm guessing slime girls? No, no slime girls. According to the intelligence we beat out of Eldris, the swamp is occupied by a joint coalition of the Burra Burra and Bandaroi tribes. The Bandroi tribes consist of a lot of flyers, primarily hornet girls and fairies. Apparently there's also some jellyfish girls here too. Oh, fairies sound cute. They're still trying to kill you, Bree. You won't think they're cute for long. These hornet girls sound sexy. Have they got a cute little sting stinger butts? Yep, although I'm personally not a big fan of bee butts, I really don't like them. Is it like, one sting they're dead sort of situation, or can they keep stinging you over and over? Over and over, and I'd have brought bug repellent, but I'm pretty sure it won't work against insects of this size. Just bash them with your wand like you do with every other monster girl. I like beating people with sticks. <laughs> also, I'm detecting an incredibly large energy reading in this area. We know it's not Priscilla, so I suspect it's some sort of giant creature like the tentacle monster we fought last month. I tried to plot a course around it, but stay on your toes. There's a good chance it'll try to attack us before we're clear of the swamp. Anything else to worry about? Not overly. According to my scans, the swamp area is about the same size as the beach, so if you keep plugging away at it every day, we'll knock it over with plenty of time to spare before a big mermaid spiker match. You mean the match you're going to lose? Ha, <laughs> yeah, right. Alright, girls, let's move out. There's two of them. I thought there was no slime girls. Are these these don't look like jellyfish girls? Okay. Uh we can scan them. I'm assuming they're You'll have to use something other than water on this enemy. Okay, Holly, you're useless now. I'm just kidding. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, that surprised me. I didn't expect Japanese. Uh, just normal attack, I guess. I Oops. All oh, the noises they make.
Hmm, I can probably just bite. I'm detecting two enemies, but you can handle it. Now oh, what is this? Oh, I, I meant to scan. <laughs> there you go. Drown this enemy with water moves. Okay, we drown this enemy with water moves. Okay. Try chucking this one. That did more damage than I thought. Uh, wake Thanks. up. Oh god, imagine eating an entire tube of wasabi, though. That'll fucking bring you back from the dead. Three enemies, hang in there. Divine magic won't work. Use something else. Oh, we have neither, so maybe I'll bring Evelyn in later, because the fairies are weak to and to dark. I'm assuming so. But I kind of want to use the elementals because they're just cool. This is a lot of mana, but it's okay. Burn. That did nothing. Nearly there, girls. Keep it up. Mm, we're just gonna just attack it like normal. Huh? Bonk. Yeah. No way, I should probably buy some stuff for the elementals. Perhaps later. Ah, uh, because we already started this, so we might as well just do the rest of the energy. There's two of them. Hmm. I'm assuming fire, because <laughs> they're bugs. Oh. Hornets, yeah. Hymenopterans. Electric moves are a no go. Okay. Uh, Max, you can just normal attack, I guess. I'm kind of curious how much damage they do. Burn. <laughs> Nearly there, girls. Keep it up. Yeah. Burn. 
Yeah, I think I need to buy stuff and maybe change stuff, change some team comps around, but I don't know. I might just deal with it. See, this is why you go shopping on the weekends. They've got a lot of stuff on special. We've got lots of nice food for you now, buddy. Buddy, are you okay? j -Bos, what are you doing out here? How do you keep getting out of the yard? We're going to have to install cameras to keep an eye on you. This is like the 20th time now. Huh? j -Bos, would you like to explain yourself? Sorry about this, Bree. j -Bubs is my pet giant hacksaw. He looks a little scary, but he's actually a big softy. He's probably just following you because you smell like cheese sandwiches. Come on, buddy. Let's get back to my place. I've got some new snacks from the store you love. I even got these pretzels you like. Wait a minute. j -Bubs isn't your pet. He's mine. We've been going out on adventures together for weeks now. I feed him sandwiches and he fights monster girls for me. No, j -Bubs is my pet. He lives in my backyard. When I go out on patrol at night with my dad, j -Bub comes with me and he attacks criminals in exchange for snacks. Wait, so you go out on patrol at night? So, like, after 10? Yeah, I'm nocturnal. I sleep a lot throughout the day, but I'm awake all night. Blame the cat ears. Me too. Except I don't have cat ears. j -Bubs, have you been going on adventures with other girls while I've been sleeping? I know you sometimes disappear at night, but I thought you were just going to the bathroom. I didn't realize you were seeing another partner behind my back. I thought the two of us had a special bond, but no, you just only hung out with me because of the snacks. What am I, your side chick who gives you sandwiches? Don't think I'm happy either, j -Bubs. The two of us were supposed to be best friends, and now I found out you're hanging with the magical girl? We're going to have a long talk about this when we get home, j -Bubs. I mean, I think you mean j -Bubs and I are going to have a long talk about this when I get home because he lives with me. Now, uh I found j -Bubs in the frack behind Lee Castro Manor weeks ago. I rescued him, so he's my pet. He's coming home with me. Weeks, I've known j -Bubs for months. He showed up in my backyard a few days after that tentacle monster attacked Lee C Castro Cruise Liner. That was ages ago. Uh-huh, sure he did. I bet you're just making that up so you can steal my super amazing magical pet from me. He probably just wandered into the frack near your place by accident. Sure, you rescued him when he got lost, but that doesn't make him your pet. I am not a pet stealer. j -Bubs is my pet, and I bet you made up that story to try and take him away from me. Wait, why did you decide to name him j -Bubs? He's not wearing a collar with his name on it. Now that I think about it, I'm not sure. So sure, I guess he looked like a j -Bubs. That's what I thought too. And even though he's just standing there panting, you can make out everything he's saying, right? Yeah, but everyone else thinks I'm crazy. I can tell he's thinking things th through. See, like right now, he's happy. You can see it too. I knew he was thinking things. Honestly, I don't mind if j -Bugs hangs out with you from time to time. I just want him back at night. I'm useless in combat without him. Yeah, I mean, like, the current arrangement is fine. j -Bugs with Bree during the day and with Kitty at night. It's all good. Same here. Although, we're going to have to do something about his diet. We both can't feed <laughs> him snacks all the time. Yeah, I agree. How about we both agree to cut back on the snack food so j -Bubs doesn't get fat? Sounds good to me. Don't give me that face. You know you're be you've been naughty, finding multiple owners so you can eat non-stop snack food. This is your fault, buddy. Maybe we should still feed him a few snacks from time to time. He'll probably find himself a third owner if we stop completely. I'll send you my contact details. We'll work out a meal plan. Hey Max, how goes your confusing love triangle? Brad still refuses to speak to me and Ethan is out of town solving some cases or whatever. He comes and goes all the time. 
fair enough, want to head out and do something together, preferably without wearing silly outfits. Actually, I'm about to embark on a top secret mission and you could wind up being a valuable asset, but I need to know if I can trust you first. I like to think of myself as pretty trustworthy. I can keep a secret. You're gonna have to prove it first. I got three plates of bacon here. If you can eat all of it in under 10 minutes, then I know that I can trust you. Is this a joke? Do I look like I'm joking? Oh wow, I think you're actually serious. I don't think I can eat that much bacon free. Then I don't trust you! Get the hell out of here! Oh my god. Okay, Jesus! Hey, Campin' Bunny, what you up to? If I got Holly a cat collar as a gift, do you think she'd find it offensive, or do you think she'd find it funny? That depends. Why are you buying her a cat collar in the first place? Holly watched my house the other week, and I've got... And I never got around to getting her a gift. I've always planned to, but I couldn't think of anything good to get her. And then I got this email about a massive discount on pet goods, and there's some really good stuff on here. Look how cute this one is. Ooh, it's sparkly. I think you should buy it for her. It's a little bit kinky, but it's also the sort of thing I could see Holly wearing. She really enjoys the whole cat girl motif she's got going. Did you know she wanted to be a possum girl for a while? If she hadn't found a cheap place that did cat ear kimonos, she totally would have gone for it. Possum girl? I guess they've got those cute fluffy tails, but they make that horrible growling noise. She sound like a creepy old man. I'm buying this cat collar. It's on sale. It's super cute, and I think she'd like it. Done. Gift sorted. So Holly watched her house. Don't you sleep at the mansion? Sometimes I sleep here to save my myself the commute home, but I've got my own place. Want to check it out? Sure. Welcome to my place. Don't bother taking your shoes off or anything. I'm not one of those weird homeowners that makes their visitors do that. This is pretty fancy, Ember. How much did it set you back? An absolute fortune. I bought this place with my ex-girlfriend a while back, but we broke up and I was left with a ridiculous mortgage that I couldn't possibly pay off. Are you gonna have to sell it? No, I was able to work things out. I got a pretty decent pay raise when I jumped to the MRU, so I won't have to sell it anytime soon. It's still gonna be a long time until I completely own this place, though. I wish I lived in a place this fancy. You live in a mansion, Bree. Yeah, but I only got a bread room. It's not the same thing. Whoa, is that a spa bath I see over there? Yeah, I paid extra to install one in the main bathroom. It's pretty fantastic. Don't those things a take ages to fill up, though, and they lose heat really quickly? They're not really all that practical. Mine's different. Want to test it out? What, right now? Why not? I didn't bring any swimmers or anything. Do I look like I care? I got plenty of bubble bath. I like spa baths too much to say no. Let's do this. You lied. Your spa bath isn't any different. It's still losing heat. You're just canceling it by casting fireball spells underwater. Don't think I don't see what you're doing. Hey, it still counts. Saves me a fortune on heating bills. And you can't deny it's really nice in here. It still doesn't change my opinion about spa baths. If you weren't half fire elemental, then this would be cold and unsatisfying. The button over there turns the jet on. Push it. This one? Yep. Ah. I was sitting right on a water jet. I know, that's why I had you push the button. Haha, <laughs> uh -huh, very funny. Hey, how are you not dead right now? Shouldn't water extinguish your flame powers? Nope, it doesn't seem to make a huge difference. I can even bathe in my fire elemental form. Water doesn't kill me. See? It does make it pretty steamy in here, though. Huh. I took a long time to work up to that point. I had the same thoughts as you. For the first few days, I wouldn't even drink water while I'm in my elemental form. I was terrified. Holly, on the other hand, wasn't so worried. She turned into a puddle and hid in the bucket on, on top of a door at work. I walked into the room and blam, I'm completely drenched. Completely drenched in Holly. Yep, she thought it was hilarious. It is kind of funny, but also somewhat kinky when you really get down to it. We're not having this discussion. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Maybe I should get us some snacks to eat while we're here. I don't really want to get out though. This is where my powers start to shine. What type of sandwich would you like? Give me a seared halo umi. That's my favorite. Coming right up. 